Good morning! So, if you have clicked on this video, I guess you have accepted my request. My humble invitation to take you on a date with me. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because on Sunday, May 23rd, it would be my one year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah, time flies. Today, we have a good few things to do together. We're gonna go to a bookstore. We're gonna maybe buy some books. We're gonna read. I really wanna check out the manga section. Now I just need to put my face on and get on some more presentable clothes than my pajamas. Uh, I'm sure you look fantastic in whatever you're in, but for me, I think I wanna, you know, just tidy up my appearance a little just for you. Uh, yeah, so I will see you in a bit. Ta-da! What do you think? This is my outfit. Let me move this chair. This whole set's from Zara. I think I tidied up okay. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, so I just gotta quickly pack up the rest of my bag and then I'll be ready to go. I have my little bento box, my little lunch for today. Do you wanna see? I guess I'll show it to you. On the first level, I've got two sweet potatoes and some mushrooms. I feel like it's too much, but hey, it's better to have more food than not enough. And then on the second level, I've got some sausages and I have some eggs and I have some broccoli. So, and then also I have some fruit and in here, I've got some strawberries as well as some blueberries. This will be a feast. I'm gonna bring this book with me even though I'm gonna be most likely buying a book and that's because uh, recently on Instagram I have been posting on my stories some books that I recommend that I've either read or I'm currently reading. I've read this book, this is No Longer Human by Osamu Desai. It's a beautiful book, it's incredibly heartbreaking and it gave me a lot of comfort, a huge sense of belonging. I felt like my feelings were written on the pages. Uh, it's really depressing. I felt like it described everything that I've ever thought through or meditated on and yeah, it's incredibly just brutal, intense. It's so human. It is so human despite the title. I love this book. It's one of my favorites of all time. So if you want to check out what other books I've been reading or other books I recommend, you can check out my Instagram here. I might also post my favorite films on my stories. I do post my favorite films as Instagram posts because I like sharing what I've been watching or what I really think that people should watch as well. So you can check it out on there. I'm just going to quickly finish packing up and then we'll head out. Seems to adore you She seems to love you more 
trying to think of other places I could be at the moment. Oh, where can I go? Oh, This is Point Grey Park and I guess I'm just gonna hang out, chill, have my lunch and then suntan a bit and read my new book. I bought two things at Indigo. I bought The Memory Police by Yoko o Ogawa and then I also bought this little notebook because I'm running out of pages in my morning journaling notebook. I think first I actually need to put some sunscreen on and eat because I've been fasting for at least 14 hours now, so it's time for some lunch. I think I'm gonna put my hair up. It's actually really hot now. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I brought you to Indigo, which is basically the Canadian equivalent of Barnes & Noble. I got to read a bit of manga. I really want to collect um, all the volumes from uh, Fate Zero. I only have the first chapter, I believe. I eventually want to collect it all because I love Fate Zero. Basically when I go to the bookstore, it's sort of like me just window shopping. I don't actually buy the books just because then I'll have a lot of them at home and I don't have any space and it's pretty expensive. But one day when I have my own place, I will gradually collect books that I love and cherish. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. Come on, suit ya. Does it suit ya? Your velvet dress is slipping off. Would you stay with me? It's coming through ya. Never knew ya. Never knew how much it means when you spoke to me. But everyone needs something I know that I'm no different So picket fences Meet your parents Cast your shoes off in the pool Don't it seem Carolina, treat you better I won't steal and I won't cheat Would you stay with me? But everyone needs something I know that I'm no different my room is when the sunlight comes in. It's just so pretty.
just got home so in honor of being on youtube for one year i bought mom and i some bubble tea i never drink bubble tea in fact i actually get quite sick even though i love the taste i'm probably gonna get a stomach ache later it's fine it's okay just one time look how cute it is cheers to one year mm. 50% sweet was a pretty good choice. I think I could do 30. Hmm. Next time. Since this video is about my one year anniversary on YouTube, I just want to say a big thank you to anyone who watches, who likes, who comments, who subscribes to my content, who interacts with me on YouTube and just wants to be a part of our little hub, our little corner on the internet. I am beyond grateful, truly. It is hard for me to articulate my gratitude to you all. I like to pride myself that I'm good with my words and that I can get my message across through speech, but to describe my gratitude and my elation for starting this YouTube channel and to receive the love and support that I've received thus far, it's sort of baffling. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. I truly cherish our interactions online. I love reading your comments. I'm just so glad that I started this channel finally after like a decade of fear, of anxiety, of procrastination, of starting and stopping and not knowing if I should commit or not. I'm, I'm just so glad that I started. So to anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel, just know that your first video, your first 10 videos, your first 20 videos, they're not gonna be great and that's okay. You gotta start somewhere, right? In order to get better. Um, because your first few videos won't define you as a YouTuber. You're bound to grow and don't be too hard on yourself. If anyone wants a little bit of advice, there you go. And I can't wait to see where this channel goes to. I wonder what my content will be like and I wonder if the quality will improve. I hope so. Um, it's not the greatest, but I'm doing what I can with what I've got and that's all that matters. Anyways, I think I'm gonna now do a little haul because I bought some things over the last weekend. I just want to share them with you. Uh, first, I'm gonna take out my braids because I feel like they're getting pretty messy. All right, let's start the haul. So first thing I have is this water bottle. I had like this green turquoisey water bottle that I got two years ago as a Christmas gift and that one was pretty damaged. So I decided to get myself a brand new one and this is from Superstore. And what I also like about this water bottle is that it matches my pillowcase and it also matches um my laptop. Look, see? Yeah, kind of, different shade. I don't have a favorite color, but I guess the closest color to be my favorite would be this because I guess you can tell by what I own that I quite like the color pink. Next up, we have this bag. I got this bag from Daiso, or I guess it would be Umomo in BC. And yeah, it just says good day, it will be all right. It was like the least cringy text out of all the bags there. I like that it has pockets in the front as well as a pocket in the back. I'm very happy with my purchase. Moving on, next thing we have is this picnic blanket, which you've already seen. I got this at Superstore. I was really wanting a nice picnic blanket. Um, this one is a bit small, so it comfortably fits one person. It's simple, you know, white and red. Exactly what I wanted, and I'm very glad I have this, because now I get to bring it out to parks, to beaches, and hopefully you'll see this a lot more with the content I create this summer. From Muji, I bought this notebook. It's a B6 open flat notebook. It's gray and it has lined pages in it. I bought this notebook because I've been wanting to do more self-studying, uh, attending online lectures, online classes. I want to pick back up my French. I want to study Mandarin again. I want to keep up with my Cantonese. I also want to learn Japanese and Korean. So I have a lot of things that I want to learn. I just love learning. And just because you've graduated from high school or you've finished university, it doesn't mean learning should stop there. It's much easier for me to dream up the idea of learning a lot, let alone executing that idea. So I've decided to buy this little notebook and it's called self-study. Yeah, I have like these long-term goals and I have a calendar for the month of May and, and I write out my goals for May and then I, 
go about each week just documenting what I've been doing and so far this system has been working. Anyways, let me know if you would like that sort of content. I am so down to make like reading vlogs, um, writing vlogs, language learning vlogs. Uh, let me know if you're into it because I will definitely make that stuff. Last but not least, I bought some stickers. I know these are not essential to buy because every other item I have here have been a need, but this is a want because I couldn't say no to these cute stickers. Look, oh, got these sushi stickers, these Japanese food stickers, very cute. I also bought these cat stickers, which I can't say no to. Any sticker with a cat, I'll buy it. And yeah, that was like my little haul. That's basically it. I didn't buy too much. I hope you enjoyed that. Tonight I'm making dinner. I am making curry, curry udon to be specific. I'm very excited for that. All right, it is time to start cooking. I have all my veggies, got my meat and everything. Now I just have to prep it all. Show. Hello, I just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna wind down with some journaling in my six ring binder. I think I'm gonna do a one page spread about my YouTube journey and I'm gonna be doing this whilst I rewatch one of my favorite romance animes that have come out recently that's just super comforting, super heartwarming, and that is Hori Mia. I have seen the entire show at least twice and I've seen the first few episodes like six times at this point. I don't normally rewatch content just because there's so much out there to watch, but this show has a special place in my heart. I relate so hard to uh, Hori Kyoko and um, I just love the banter and the chemistry between all the characters. I find the dialogues pretty natural considering it's a romance anime. If you're into romance anime, you should check it out if you haven't already. Okay, let's open this baby up. Wow, oh my gosh. Um, I made a two page spread about when I hit 100 subscribers. It's sort of cringe, but it's actually sort of endearing because I get to look back and realize like how um, ecstatic I was to have hit 100 subscribers. It's really pink. I was trying to do like a one color uh, challenge for myself. More uh, YouTube journey related stuff. 
Yeah, and then I made another spread and this one was just about acting and stuff in my journey. Alrighty, let's draw. <laughs> I just gotta say, this part is so me when I get in the mood to do housework. Yes! I love this scene with Miyamura. Oh my goodness. I'm currently halfway through episode three and I just finished my spread. Here we are. It's pretty cute, I think. It's really simple. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because it really does help the channel out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>